All right, making uh, a video with your phone and the iMovie app. So it's the same story with your iPad or whatever, or any phone really. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we are in horizontal, not vertical view mode. And I'm in horizontal, I'm gonna click on YouTube. And uh, there we go. Now I can see that uh, there's the little flip to see if I'm looking at me or if I'm looking at what's in front of me. I'm gonna start this video with me right here. The neat thing about this app is that uh, you can you can switch it live. You don't have to pause. So this is really kind of cool. You go, all right, so let's, well, let me show you what it is. Okay, so let's hit record, here we go. All right, everybody, I'm gonna show you how to add a couple of numbers, all right. And so let's go down here and let's take a look and let's do 27 plus 15 and I'm gonna add these numbers and I'm gonna carry and then I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna get that and that. That's how you do it. It's pretty darn easy, isn't it? All right, now you go try. And then uh, here it is, it's kind of playing and you see the screen, it's kind of walking us through this stuff. Uh, I, I'm never gonna edit. I might do a little bit of trimming at the beginning and the end, but I'm never gonna edit, never. In fact, you can't edit in this video, uh, this app. So all I'm gonna do is press next. Here it is, it's gonna go to my MCOE account. I, I need to name it, uh, demo vid. I think this is probably number three or four. Um, Let's see, let's see, uh, iPhone and YouTube app. And that is how we're gonna do it. Now on the privacy, we're gonna leave that privacy as unlisted, that way my students can see it, but the public can't. Although you might eventually want to switch it to public because hey, let's share with everybody, right? So unlisted basically means people can only see it if they have the direct link to it, they can't search for it. And then all we have to do is press upload and that is it. Now all we have to do is wait for it to happen and it's that's what it's doing. It's kind of processing and, and that's it. Eventually the processing is gonna be done. You're gonna have your link that you can now post onto your LMS, your Seesaw, your Google Classroom, or email it to your parents, right? So that's it.